Welcome back. Tonight we're down Felix Day and it's been a few months since I've been out really. Just life has got in the way and the tides have not been right or I've had something on and with work and stuff. So yeah, eventually I've managed to get out. I've got two rods out tonight. I've got a Wessex rig, Wessex rig with some uh, ragworm on it. And I've got a pulley panel with some squid on it. Um, nice calm night really to see. It's like a mill pond and there's hardly any wind and it's just supposed to get even calmer as the night goes on. It's about midnight now and we're going to go through till, I don't know, about six, seven in the morning. High tide is at quarter to five. And I'm not really sure what they've been pulling out recently. I presume they're bringing out the rays and the doggies and stuff like normal. Um, haven't heard of much cod around here coming out yet but the temperatures have seemed to have risen over the last week and like I say the wind has calmed down so the sea is like a lake at the moment and we see how we go but yeah I'll keep you updated through the night and yeah see what we can get thought I had a little knock then <laughs> eh? that was on the squid as well on the squid? Yeah. awesome I, was like, I thought I had a little knock then Jamie's just had a pout in and a white in on squid um, so he hasn't blanked. I've had one tiny white in. I mean, it was so small I didn't bother getting the camera out. But it's very strange tonight. I don't know if there's a lot of crabs around or there's just shoals of really small white in that are nibbling the bigger baits. The rods are bouncing around a lot, but when we bring them in, there's nothing on them and the bait has been chewed up. But not the way a crab would chew it up, if you know what I mean. It's a bit different. So. Yeah, because it's so calm, it's uh, <laughs> quite hard to tell what's going on out there. And I think over the last couple of months, with the storms that we've had and all things, the bottom has changed. This is the spot we normally fish, and bringing it in, it feels completely different than the last time I came. So I think the bottom's moved around a bit, and we're bringing in the odd bit of weed here and there, which here, we've never done before, really. Right, we're at second fish of the night. There we go. Look at that. Lovely thorn back. Not the biggest one in the world, but also on that, with it, the tiniest little dab. But uh, yeah, any nice. So I'm going to get this guy back up. That was on the Wessex rig, on the ragworm. And uh, Watch his tail. <laughs> Yay. Right, I'm going to get this guy back, the little guy back, and get back out there. Awesome. And I just threw that rod back out with the lug on it. I just bought in the raid, literally, it's been out three minutes. And I've got a doggy. And he's a, quite a nice, chunky doggy as well. Bleeding a little bit, caught him right in the corner of the mouth. But, um, yeah, that's fish number four, making up for not being out for a while. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this guy back, give him a bit of a clean up, get him back, and uh, get back out there. Not a lot's happening with the squid, but it seems to be all on the lugworm at the moment. But, yeah, lovely getting back in.
Well, it's that Wessex rig again. It's another doggy. And literally, he's been out five minutes. Not even that. Another one. <laughs> again, not particularly very big, but quite chunky. There's not that much meat on them. And also, oh, with him, when it focuses, come on. There we go. And with him, oh, there we go. Um, a little tiny white. But, uh, uh, for some reason, camera's playing around. Right, I'm going to get, get this uh, bad boy back in and get back out. And again, both on the lug, both on the Wessex rig. Not a lot on the squid. I do have some bluey with me. I might swap it over when I bring it in. Oh. I might have spoken too soon. I'm going to get this one back in just in case there's another fish on it. Right, just in case anyone doesn't know. So I've got my main line tied on with a swivel. Here you probably can't see it but swivel there. Then I have my first hook on the Wessex rig. Then the body runs down again. Then it goes down to my lead clip with my hook. Second hook. So lead clip a bead and then the weight runs. So basically it's a two hook flapper with a running weight and that's what my Wessex rig is. And I've probably got 12 to 14 inch hook lengths off of the body. So yeah, that's what I'm seem to catching everything on tonight. Focus. And there's another ray thorn bag. <laughs> it's a fair bit bigger than the last one. It's a fair bit heavier as well. So uh, I might weigh this guy in a minute and see how much he weighs. I mean, he's probably only about three or four pounds, I suppose. But look at him. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, you can keep that tail away from my face as well. But yeah, I'm going to weigh him and see how much he weighs. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's only about two and a half pounds, but um, he feels a lot heavier than that. But anyway, I'm going to get him back. And, uh, I swapped the squid. Well, I didn't. Sw yeah, I did swap the squid over. I put bluey on with just a squid head to tip it, and I might just have a bite. Well. That bite seem to have stopped so I'm going to bring it in anyway and then I'll see if there's anything on it. Right, well, it's about quarter to three. We've got two hours till high tide, and it's sort of quietened off a bit. Jamie's still catching some small ones. He's had a couple of dabs. He's had a, a small lemon sole, um, a few whiting, and a couple of pouting. And I've had nothing, really, since that last ray. So, uh, yeah, quietened off. Like I say, still got two hours till high tide yet. And then we'll do a little bit of the down winds are slightly picking up a bit and it's getting a little bit nippy I think I'll be putting my jacket on again in shortly but for the middle of the night 
in um, February. Can't go wrong, really. Well, it's about an hour till high tide. I've had one tiny little pouting since I've been on last. And uh, for me, it's quiet and right off. Jamie, on the other hand, is starting to bring more fish in. He's had two smaller doggies, a uh, handful of whiting, a handful of pouting, and a few flatties. And uh, I've had sod all in the last like two hours. But um, yeah, on my big roll, I changed the pulley panel, and so I've got my Wessex rig on as I have. And then I've just put a two hook flapper on the other one for now. Because the squid and the bluey and the fish baits have not been touched on mine. Um, and considering we're fishing, what, 10 feet apart, Jamie's had a few on squid and no one's touched my squid. Nothing. But for the moment, um, for me anyway, I'm deadly quiet. But I can't complain. I've had four nice fish, two rays, two doggies and a handful of little silverfish so yeah I mean considering I've not been out for a few months um, for me it's been a great night but um, hopefully I'll be out again in the next couple of weeks two to three weeks and then uh, see what the tides are doing and hopefully have more of an evening session rather than during the night and start off in daylight and fish into the darkness uh, depending on my shifts and what the tides are doing but yeah let's see what this last hour up to high tide brings at the moment not a lot well it's pretty much high tide and I've got my first little dab there's first fish for about a good hour hour and a half I think I'm going to get this little guy back rebate up and uh, I don't know, maybe give it another hour over the high tide and on the turn a half an hour after that maybe and then I think I might give it, call it a night but uh, yeah, I'll get this little guy back and uh, get back out there Right, high tide's been and gone uh, and yeah, I've had one tiny little dab and another tiny little white in just proper tiddlers so that's it. Well, thanks for joining me. Hopefully you'll see me again in a few weeks. Um, yeah. Bye.